Homo floresiensis, often referred to as the Hobbit, presents a fascinating chapter in human evolutionary history. These miniature humans, standing approximately three and a half feet tall, were first discovered in 2003 in Liangbua, a cave on the island of Flores in Indonesia. Their small stature has intrigued scientists and sparked debates about their origins and classification. These beings possessed a unique combination of advanced and primitive physical traits. Their skulls were remarkably small, housing brains comparable in size to those of chimpanzees. Yet, despite their diminutive brain size, evidence suggests they made tools, hunted small elephants, and handled fire, indicating complex cognitive abilities. Despite their small bodies and brains, Homo floresiensis were highly adaptive, surviving in challenging environments. Their discovery challenges traditional views on the necessary brain size for complex toolmaking and survival strategies in ancient human relatives. Homo floresiensis thrived in a distinct and isolated environment on the Indonesian island of Flores. This island's unique ecosystem shaped their evolution. The dense forests and rugged terrain provided both protection and challenges, influencing their physical and behavioral adaptations. Their diet was primarily composed of meat from small animals, including the now extinct pygmy elephant Stegodon, and various plants and fruits available in their forested habitat. This combination of high protein and high fiber diet likely supported their needs despite their limited caloric intake due to smaller body size. The era during which Homo floresiensis flourished is estimated to be from about 190,000 to 50,000 years ago. This timeline suggests they lived during the Pleistocene Epoch, a period characterized by dramatic climatic changes, which they survived until relatively recent times, overlapping with modern humans. The extinction of Homo floresiensis around 50,000 years ago marks a significant point in human history. The reasons behind their disappearance are likely multifaceted, involving climatic, ecological, and possibly competitive pressures from other species, including modern humans. Environmental changes during the Pleistocene, particularly volcanic activity and changing sea levels, could have drastically altered their habitat on Flores. Such changes would have impacted available resources, making survival increasingly difficult for these small-bodied humans. Moreover, the arrival of modern Homo sapiens could have introduced new diseases to which Homo floresiensis had no immunity. Competition for limited resources might also have played a role in their extinction. The exact dynamics of these interactions remain a topic of ongoing research and debate.